And tonight here live at 6 o'clock, we do indeed have breaking news. Two Iowa teenagers, high school students, have been charged with murder in killing a Spanish teacher at their high school in Fairfield, Iowa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Steele. Thanks for joining us here tonight. The Jefferson County attorney now tells us the name of the victim is Noema Graber. Ms. Graber was first reported missing earlier this week on Wednesday. She has been a Spanish teacher for the last nine years at Fairfield High School. Her remains were found Wednesday afternoon in a well-known park in Jefferson County. That's Chautauqua Park. And that's where we're finding tonight KWWL reporter Travis Breeze. And Travis, you're live at the park. What do we know at this point about this gruesome crime? Ron, I am at the east edge of the park right now, and there is uh, one rope of crime scene tape on a bridge here. The county attorney's office uh, has not told me one way or the other if this is connected to the investigation. It certainly could be. It doesn't look like an active investigation or an active crime scene right now. The park is open, and people have been walking around. Two 16-year-olds, Willard Noble Chaden Miller and Jeremy Everett Goodale have been charged with first-degree homicide and a conspiracy to commit homicide. They are being tried as adults. The county attorney says Graber's body was found with severe blunt force trauma, and the investigation is ongoing. Both teens are being held at a juvenile detention center right now. The school district community is reacting to this today. They released a statement saying the Fairfield Community School District is saddened by the tragic death of longtime teacher Noema Graber. In her nine years with the Fairfield High School, Ms. Graber touched the lives of many students, parents, and staff. The county attorney also told me today this is a small, tight-knit community, and he says this is going to send shockwaves throughout the town. Live in Fairfield, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, thanks for the update here tonight. As that investigation continues to unfold, it is a developing story. We'll keep you updated both on air and online as we work to get more details about that murder investigation out of Fairfield.